What's up? Hey everyone, it's Chad, your friendly local mailman. Let me just say, I love it when you guys advertise what is inside the box by putting your company name on the label. Like this one right here. It saves me so much time from slicing them open. I mean, from them accidentally getting snagged on something and stuff falls out. I, don't, I just have to look here. Like this one right here. Silver, gold, and coins. I don't even have to guess what's inside, I already know. This is like Christmas right here. I already know what I'm getting. All right, thanks homies. This has been your weekly public service announcement. Don't be a head. You Welcome to Campbell's Coins. I've got a huge unboxing here for you today. This one comes from Atmex. And I don't know about you guys, but Black Friday had a lot of sales, and so did Cyber Monday. Did you take part in any of those sales? You should have, because there were some deals to be had. Let's get to unboxing this guy. Now, I know I just cut it open, but I wanted to show you something here as well. Nothing that gives away what's inside on that address. That's great. It's a nice box. It's from Atmex. What could this be? That is a Pamp Swiss 100 gram gold bar. And while this is <clears throat> tiny and secondary market with some scratches, it's still gold and this will go nicely in the stack. All right, let's talk about this Pamp just a little bit more. So this is my first large piece of gold. It's 100 grams. Um, I'm actually, this is a secondary market from Atmex. So it's not gonna come with the uh, assay, or at least this one didn't. But uh, it came with, uh, it's stamped with a serial number. And as you can see, it says uh, Pamp Swiss 100 gold. 100 grams, 999.9% fine gold. Uh, it's fairly thin, as you can see. This is the back of it. Um, I thought I'd kind of do a little review of large bar, quote unquote, large bar gold, uh, since I don't run into it all too often and I doubt a whole lot of you do so uh, just for reference it's about less than about a finger and a half width I would say it's about two inches in length and about a quarter inch thick so it's it's fairly small. This could easily fit into your shoe and you really you really would not know that it was there um I mean that much. So it's easily well hidden. Uh that's another thing that's really cool about gold. It's a, a lot of wealth in a very compact and small item. I mean, I think this typically goes for around 5100 when it comes with a assay, 
uh, new. <clears throat> so I got this a little bit less just because it was a secondary market and then a Black Friday sale. But um, yeah, I think this is, uh, I'm very happy with it. Atmex shipped it really, really well. Um, it was nice of them to send it in this this holiday box. Yeah, so uh, really, really excited for this Pamp Swiss bar. And talking about it a little bit more, this is 3.215 troy ounces of gold. But man, does this feel heavy. I mean, when you hold three ounces of silver, it just doesn't have that same heft to it. It's just, it's a lot of heft in just a little form. And the sides are almost, I don't know if you can see the lines, they're almost reeded like a coin. And that goes all the way around. And I don't know if that's because there's a machine that's, that's like clamping it like this, picking it up. And with gold being so soft that it's easily impressionable, but um, I just thought that was interesting. There's a, a reeded edge going around the, the perimeter of it. Anyway, this is an awesome piece of gold, and I want to thank Atmex for that. Thank you so much. All right, continuing on, I have a package here from Atmex. This is also purchased during their... I think it was their Cyber Monday, Black Friday day deals. And I really appreciate how they package things up. they would have it in something just putting on some gloves here so this is 1878 S Liberty Double Eagle and this is supposedly in AU condition, which is <clears throat> almost uncirculated. Sorry about that, my battery died. Just want to look at this coin a little bit more. A little focus. It's a very nice piece. The 1878 is a very key date year. Um, there's very, very few of them in mint state condition. And so most of them exist in about uncirculated or worse in state. And I think there's only, I'm going off the top of my head here. I think there's like 5,000 estimated remaining. It, it I think it's either five or 11,000, but it's an incredibly small number. God, I love these $20 Liberty coins. Liberty double eagles. What do you think of these gold pieces from Atmex? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Campbell's Coins, and that is my two cents.